Hey guys, welcome to Performance Cars. So today I'm at R2 Automotive and I'll be taking you throughout their whole workshop. We start up in the reception area, go into their work floor and then upstairs to their storage area and then the engine building room. So they had their promo event about two weeks ago, which was a great success. So well done to the guys for sorting that out. But let's get this tour started. All right, so we just start off with the reception area. You see the logo. Coming through here. First thing we are greeted with are all of Rich's certificates. So fully qualified in most areas of light vehicle. Obviously nice reception area, nice and warm in here. And we'll move out to the workshop. So at R2 Automotive, these guys are service specialists, but for the sake of today's video, they have put in all their projects in the garage for us to see. So we have a JDM EP3, MRS, and two DC5. So we'll quickly go over the cars at the moment. So this JDM EP3 has come in for a full engine rebuild, still keeping it K20A, so two liters. Uh, but he's going for more powers, which you guys will see upstairs. This MRS over here on the Hunter alignment machine. Wow, take a look at this. That's a K20 A2 engine from the Civic Type R EP3. And this weighs about 900 something kilos. That should be rapid. Over here with this DC5, which has had a respray. It's running a turbo. That's pretty amazing. I just quickly show you guys that. That's coming for some more work. And this DC5 over here with the full Ings kit. It's been off the road for about eight to nine years and it's going for a full restoration. But it is really clean now. It's almost done, except for the engine, which is upstairs. And he's going for a K24. Well, he's going for a K20, but bought out to 2.4 liters. And he's currently running Dixcel disc and pads, only in suspension, and all of this is available from R2. Just give the guys a call. Over here, we have this awesome toolbox in the Honda colors. So if you visit a Honda garage, it will be the same colors as theirs. Hunter alignment machine, which was used in the promo event. And there was a Ferrari 458 on here, which was pretty awesome but we have three ramps in here. Uh, all does the same stuff, so lifts cars, but they have different purposes. So the Hunter alignment machine obviously does the alignment as well, but you can put a car on and have the suspension loaded up with the car's weight, so that can be helpful. Over here we have a scissor lift, so that's quite good. Um, it goes flat to the floor, so you can drive a car in and Put it over on this two post ramp and a two post ramp you can lift that up as well and then stick a car underneath that so really really good idea to make full use of the space in this workshop passing this lovely snap-on toolbox make our way upstairs And we'll start off at the back here. So he has this sand blaster and then a parts washer. It's all really cool, really nice equipment in here. You have the various equipment, suspension, hydraulic press, grinders, device. And then down here we have all the spare gearboxes, K20 parts even the 
polyurethane bushes. And onto their storage shelves, they've started stocking up on Dixcell products. So these are all available. And if they're not stocked up here, they can get them for you pretty much next day. And just over this side, we have the Ings front bumper for that DC5 downstairs. And just another workshop with various engine parts. So just a quick overview from up here. Got all the cars down there, really nice, really clean. So into the engine building room we go. This is pretty special. The whole place is insulated and temperature controlled to 19 degrees, which is awesome. These guys really know their stuff when it comes to engine rebuilds. And we have two heads here, both K20As. Uh, both have work done to them. One's for the DC5 dancers and one's for the EP3. This is the K20A from the EP3, I believe. Got new pistons going in. And just a comparison for the old pistons, which I'll grab down here. That is the size of the old one compared to the new one. So he's going for a pretty decent build. Um, hopefully it will produce decent power and reliability. But over here we have some Skunk 2 cams, I believe. Inlet manifolds. All of this was imported from USA. And this is the block for the DC5. So he's going 2.4. Uh, rather than just getting a K24 and slapping a K20 head on, they bought it out to a K24, which is awesome. And just below here, I can just show you a few more of their cams. So the guys at R2 Automotive not only cater for Japanese cars, which you see in here, that is because I asked them to put these cars for the purpose of this video. They cater for all makes and models. So it can be from the smallest oil change that you are after, to a full-on service or even an engine rebuild with a turbo strapped on. So it just depends what you want. Give these guys a call. I'll leave all their details in the description below. So don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can follow R2 Automotive on Instagram and Facebook as well, which I'll leave in the description below again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Take care, drive safely, and I'll see you guys soon. Hey guys, welcome to Performance Cars. So today is a lovely day. The sun is hiding behind the clouds at the moment, but is more or less clear and no rain. So I've decided to take the supercharged S2000 out for a clean.